What do you get when you have a parent with fairly loose morals, a taste for cash money, and social media platforms perfectly willing to host just about, well, anything. Child exploitation, that's what you get. A bit of context for you ladies and gentlemen. Tom O'Carroll of the UK and Ireland, a professional degenerate with such hit singles to his name as pedophilia activism. Yes, that's a thing. The distribution of child pornography, and of course we can't forget the top tier high-ranking degeneracy qualifier, offenses against children. Mr. O'Carroll published this article on his WordPress blog entitled, Desmond is truly amazing and hot. Now normally, I wouldn't have a problem with people writing about things. Anything. But when given context, this whole situation reads as a little bit more sinister than it does on the surface. So for context, Tom is referring to Desmond is Amazing, the 11 now year old drag queen who has made stampedes in the media for the last four such years, and he's been active since the wizened age of eight years old during the 2015 New York City Pride Parade when he first made his debut as his drag alter ego, I guess you could say, or at least made his debut as a dancer. Since then, Desmond is Amazing has made a name for himself in the drag industry for provocative performances at the encouragement of his money-hungry managers. I mean parents. I will spare you the deep and irreversible depression brought on by reading this article with any intimate details of what Tom has to say about the issue of child drag stars. You can read it in its entirety at the link found below in my description, but in summation, it should be noted that, that Tommy Boy here takes this opportunity, this article, to hail the sentiment that this 11-year-old's expression of his sexuality to a room of complete and utter strangers for money, to grown, likely gay, likely turned on men whose intentions I can only really guess at. Yeah, he, he makes a point of calling out the reactionary right and the hypocritical left amidst his ravings of this behavior and this allowance while further propagating his pro pedophilia agenda. And who could have thunk that a, a pedophile would come out in support of child drag queens sexualizing themselves on stage for all manner of folk to see? Please. Well, I am not one to be very shocked by such cause and effectual behaviors and reasonings. Apparently, this did come as a surprise to Desmond Is Amazing's mother, who runs the Child Drag Star's Instagram account, because, of course, an 11 year old needs an Instagram account. Even one that's managed by his own mother. All right. Now, I will not be reading all of Miss Desmond is Amazing's posts um, because they are a direct rebuttal to a lot of Tom's ravings. And I, I just I simply don't want this to become a debate on the merits of child exploitation or children embracing their sexuality versus how that correlates to letting children be embraced sexually. If, if you'd like to see my views on um, pedophilia. Not that I feel like they need any clarification, but if you'd like to see my taking down of such arguments, I have a video dedicated to debunking Amos Yee on this channel, and there's there's a Worski Live out there somewhere where I and a few others look and took him to task on him and his various studies that he provided. It's important that I note the first paragraph of what it is that Lady Desmond is Amazing has iterated in her post. It's quite... It's quite intriguing, if you ask me. Quote, This is extremely disturbing. Convicted pedophile Tom O'Carroll has written a blog post stating that Desmond is hot and feels sexy performing. He also sexualizes fellow drag kid Queen Lactatia. We do not approve of his statements and have written to WordPress.com several times, but they have yet to remove it. It is highly inappropriate to speak of minors in this manner. Well, lady, um, I don't know what the hell you expected to have happen when you're letting your child perform in drag to a bunch of men in a nightclub at the risk of having people make a, well, 
what were you wearing? Maybe you were asking for it. Comparison, um, I'm going to do that right now. You are the reason this man posted this article. I hope you know that. You, and only you. You and your husband, that is. You are the caregiver, the provider, the protector of your son, yet you would seek to expose him to such a life of sexual expression, of exploitation, knowing full well there are these types of people in the world who would, who would get the rocks off to this very notion of your child performing to grown men, and perhaps women. I really don't know. My point is, your son deserves a life away from this limelight, unencumbered by all of the trivialities that come with it. The sexual perverse comments, the blatant threats that come, the heavy burden of turning the perform button on all the time, the late nights, and certainly he deserves to grow up away from people who have sexually perverse thoughts about him. Far, far away, if you ask me. Like, completely from their mind. Away. Which he can't do if he's dressing in drag and dancing for them. I'm sorry, but that's just the way that that works. And this isn't just about queer expression, all right? This isn't me having a go at the gay community. This is not just a drag queen childhood issue at all. It's a lot more perverse in a lot more areas of the internet, of entertainment, of a lot of things than just on the drag circuit. As much as my critics would like to believe that it's me having a problem with queer representation in the media, it's not. It's not of that issue. I, I could give a damn if people are dressing in drag. I just give a damn if it's kids doing it and they're doing it for the fame and the fortune and because their parents want them to do that. That's what I give a damn about. The, the, the reality show powerhouses of dance moms and toddlers and tiaras were certainly no better in this department. Just simply the idea of capitalizing on the tumultuous relationships between mothers, teachers, and students in the dancing department and their emotional abuse of children who just wanna dance? Yeah, I don't think so. Nope. And what about the pageantry of taking your toddler daughter, giving her fake teeth, spray tans, spritzing her with hairspray till she's stiffer than a board, and slapping some fake lashes on that bee, and sending her out to walk a runway so that people can coo and ooh and ah over your Barbie dolled up infant, and judge her based on how close you can make her look to a midget version of Jennifer Lawrence at the Oscars? Please. Please. A truly noble pursuit, isn't it? And don't get me wrong. This is not a left side of the fence exclusive type of deal, people. I'm not talking about that, all right? Do you remember Mini AOC? Because I do. She's a fairly recent addition to this life of social media influencer culture. The tiny Latina child that satirized the House of Representative member? Yeah, she just went internet ghost side after AOC followers decided the mockery that her parents were having her perform at the um, expensive one of our representatives was worthy of doxing and threatening a little girl and her family. Who, who could have imagined this happening? <laughs> that, that, that politically charged opponents would go after anyone in this manner. Who, who could have thunk that? The fact is people, this is getting so much worse the more time goes by and I don't see an end in sight, frankly. I mean, does anyone remember the Denny of Five drama? Same deal only sprinkle a little bit more childhood abuse and trauma and an audience with some sick and twisted senses of entertainment and you have that whole scenario. Do you remember Little Tay, the 11 year old? Melody Official 3, the 12 year old? Who looked like she was supposed to be 20. <sighs> we have an actual issue here in society portraying it itself out, playing itself out again and again in a feedback loop and everyone thinks that it's gonna be different this time, but it's not. For some reason, we've turned our children into a commodity that can be capitalized on. And I think that that's sick. Twisted, wrong, the full nine yards. Please, please, please stop broadcasting your kids for fame and fortune and money and attention. Let them have a childhood for crying out loud. You're the parent. You have all of the say in the world on how their lives play out from birth until they turn of age. You have all of that control and it is up to you how their lives play out. So please be responsible with that immense responsibility. 
You have control over how much complete strangers have access to your children, their lives, anything about them. How much the world gets to know about your sweet and innocent little Jimmy, Tommy, Sandra, or Desmond. You have all that access. You have all of that gatekeeper mentality. So I suggest, I encourage you, I am pleading with you to utilize it with a little bit more care and a little bit more caution. Please.